Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing while the York County NJROTC Color Guard posts the colors and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. Color Guard, please post the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dr. Shandor, school board members, Ms. Cataldo, faculty and staff, guests, and the class of 2019. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the Grafton High School of 2019 commencement exercise. I am pleased to introduce to you the members of the York County School Board. Mrs. Barbara Haywood, District 1. Mr. Brett Higginbotham, District 2. Mr. Mark Medford, District 3. Mr. James Richardson, District 4 and Dr. Robert W. George, District 5. And with greetings from the school board, the chairman, Mr. James Richardson, District 4. Well, good morning, everyone. Graduates, family members, staff, and fellow board members. It's an honor to be part of today's celebration for the graduation ceremony of Grafton High School, class of 2019. It's such a pleasure to share in the intensity and the emotions that are filling this arena as those of you who are graduating close this chapter in your life story. 
Parents, you're probably wondering where the years have gone as you marvel at your son's or your daughter's accomplishments. It doesn't seem that long ago when these young adults we honor today were starting kindergarten. Of course, living through those years between kindergarten and graduation may have seemed like an eternity to the students, and maybe for some of the parents as well. You're the class of 2019. You graduate in a century that is still in its infancy at a time in history when our world is dealing with enormous challenges, but at a time when opportunities created by those challenges have never been greater. You are technology natives, born and educated in a technological world that is, found, that is only found in science fiction when many of us in this room were just in school. You Instagram and you tweet, you read books and news online, and you text instead of call and your electronic social networking has shrunk the world, the known world as we know it now. You are a generation that will take the technology of today to new and dizzying dimensions. You are the one who will bring solutions to environmental concerns, conservation of natural resources, the develop development of alternative energy sources, the issues that my generation is only now identifying. And who knows, there are some, may come a time when some of you will live on a space station, maybe live on the moon, maybe travel to Mars. Someone among you may find a cure for cancer or other debilitating affliction. So today, you're poised to start a new chapter in your life story. But I just want you to remember one thing, just remember the turtle. My favorite reptile is the turtle. And the reason for that is in order for the turtle to move, it has to stick its neck out. There are going to be times in your life when you're going to have to stick your neck out and there will be challenges, and instead of hiding in a shell, you have to go out and meet them. So congratulations to the class of 2019, and good luck. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Victor Shandor. Dr. Victor Shandor was appointed as superintendent of the York County School Division in August 2014. He has more than 25 years of public education experience as a teacher, principal, and district administrator. Shandor, a 1992 graduate of California University in Pennsylvania, began his career in education as a teaching assistant. He then earned a master's degree in exceptional education from Old Dominion University and ultimately a doctorate in educational leadership from Wingate University. Dr. Shandor grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He and his wife, Melissa, have three children. Please welcome Dr. Victor Shandor. Thank you, Molly. Good morning. Congratulations, Grafton High School class of 2019. I'd like to welcome and thank our teachers, parents, and families celebrating with us today. Graduates, you have reached a major milestone in your life, and I'm honored to share this accomplishment with you. Now, each year I struggle over what topic, quote, or message I want to share with you. I don't want it to be too long that you tune me out, and I don't want it to be too short when it appears I don't respect all the hard work which brought us to this day. I often use sports analogies to make a point about concepts such as hard work, Teamwork, dedication, communication, goal setting, etc. Typically, it's a Pittsburgh Steelers reference, being that they're the best team in the NFL. <laughs> Thank you for that. I knew there were a few of you in here. But I want to refrain from that this year. I was able to spend some time with my family this past weekend. I found it amazing, as my dad shared, that I never listened to a thing he said from seventh grade to my sophomore year in college. Advice, career direction, relationships, none of it. Now, of course, at that time, when I was your age, I figured he could not relate to being a teenager in 1988. And yes, I do realize all of you were not born until 12 years later. Now, if you're being honest with yourself, how many times has the thought gone through your minds that the adults in your life have no idea what it's like to be a teenager in 2019? And you're probably thinking of that right now, looking at your friends. Now, my father always shared his struggles when he was a teen, but as I shared earlier, I wasn't listening. When I share with my kids 
how we used a phone that was connected to the wall to talk to our friends in the same room as our parents, they find it hard to believe that I survived such a lack of privacy, assuming they're even listening to me. Just because I didn't watch one episode of Game of Thrones, I have no idea who Cardi B is, and I still don't have Instagram, doesn't mean that I can't relate because some of the best advice is timeless. It applies whether you're 18, my age, 48, or my dad's age, 78. And for the record, I was listening. Here are a few things from my dad to take with you today. Number one, rub some dirt on it and get back in there. Now, if we fell or got hurt as a kid, he would always say this. It was a simple reminder that life is hard. You're going to get knocked down, you're going to bruise your elbows, and you're going to skin your knees, so to speak. Pick yourself up and keep trying. The reality is you're going to fail a few times in your life. Get over it and move on. Number two, do the best you can even when no one is watching. The level of effort you put into all phases of your life defines you. Therefore, put everything you have into all that you do because it is for you, not for someone else. Doors will open up and opportunities will arise when you con consistently give your best in all that you do. Number three, nothing worth having comes easy. While my dad cannot ap actually claim this one, it is a constant reminder throughout your life you should set goals and go after them. Having that fire in your belly, the passion, and the energy to go after something with all you have can't be replaced. Find something you're passionate about and dedicate all of yourself to it. Lastly, enjoy the ride and laugh. You're going to make mistakes, doors are going to close, and occasionally you're going to fall short. But lessons can be learned in all of these things. Surround yourself with people who make you laugh, and more importantly, laugh at yourself. Humor can carry you through some of the most difficult times in your life. At the end of the day, if you can't laugh at yourself, I would encourage you to rub some dirt on it instead and move on. Finally, graduates, as you stand on the edge of adulthood and independence, ready to take on the world, remember you are prepared for the next step in your life journey and have a solid educational foundation and support system in place to be successful. My hope for you is that you're able to, to get back up when life knocks you down, you put your best into everything you do, and enjoy the ride. Congratulations and good luck. It is my privilege to introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian for the class of 2019. Much hard work, effort, and dedication to excellence have gone into achieving this distinguished honor for these two students. Salutatorian, Nicole Piacco. And valedictorian, Derek Yang. Good morning. I'd like to start by saying, hey, mom and dad, I love you. Also, hello to all the friends and families here today celebrating this graduation. I'd like to give a big thank you for all the support and care you give us constantly. I'd also like to give a huge thank you to all the teachers, counselors, coaches, and mentors who have taught us and guided us. There's probably not enough thank yous in the world to express how grateful we are for you. You help us so much. Just so everyone realizes, this is officially the last time we had to wake up early for a high school event. <laughs> Many of my days this year started with my brother waking me up, thanks Mark, <laughs> and then worrying that we'd be late for school. On one of those days, we opened the door to the school and the bell rang. The attendance lady looked up and said, you're late. It already felt like the day was going bad, and I also knew I had to go through a government test, and then a science test, and then a math test. And I know that sounds like a, the start to a terrible day, but it wasn't. It was a good day still, because I got to say hi to all my friends. I got to bug them about their sporting or club events, their plans for the future. 
whether they were gonna do their homework later that night or not. And later I got to play soccer with our team in the nice weather and joke around. The best part of high school was meeting and getting to know so many amazing people. And I even learned some things. On the days that felt overwhelming with things that I had to do, being stressed, anxious, tired, I was still really happy and had a lot of fun. Spending time with the people of Grafton High School in the class of 2019 has been a blessing. I've been lucky to have met so many extraordinary people. Congratulations and good luck to our graduating class. Thank you. Hello. I would first like to say that the New York Giants are the best NFL team. <clears throat> I would like to ask everyone a question. What are high schoolers known for? Their diligence in their studies? Their ability to interpret new ideas? No, absolutely not. <laughs> high schoolers have a remarkable ability. They can somehow convince themselves that nothing is going wrong when their life is crashing down around them. I am not joking, this is a desperate cry for help. <laughs> One example is this speech. As I write this speech, it is currently 3.21 a.m. My speech is due in four hours. I am writing my 11th sentence. Yet somehow I can convince myself that everything will be fine. This is called denial. <laughs> the remarkable ability that teenagers have is denial. As a deadline for a paper crawls closer and closer, we can convince ourselves to push it back a day later. A bit of advice for high school students. A bit of advice for future high schoolers. Do not do this. <laughs> Yet somehow through all this denial, everything became okay. I mean, look at you now. The class of 2019, you are graduating today. <clears throat> no more high school, no more late nights, no more studying. You are free of all responsibilities. <laughs> For two more months, then college hits like a truck, absolutely destroys you. But how did, through all this denial, everything work out in the end? Was it luck? Was it you coincidentally finding answers for homework on the floor? You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> no, it was you. You powered through this. High schoolers have another trait that overpowers denial, their drive to secede. I know high schoolers who survived on less than four hours of sleep every day during the school year. Did they sleep be this little because they wanted to? Absolutely not. They sacrificed so much because they wanted to secede. And now that hard work is paying off. Those friends of mine are going off and attending great colleges. I hope that this trait stays for the rest of your life. No matter what happens in your life, strive to keep that drive to succeed. Unless your version of success is bad. I, this is a bad joke. But if you do keep this drive for success, oftentimes you will find that success does follow. There's nothing worse than stagnancy. When you have hit stagnancy, you have given up your drive to succeed. Failure is okay. I have failed in my life many times. But each time that I failed, I have learned a lesson, except that one time I didn't. Do, listen, listen carefully. Do not eat Taco Bell the morning before a presentation. I, I promise you, I promise you, despite how great this sounds, your body will not thank you. I, I cannot stress this enough. But take risks in your life. Risks have propelled humanity throughout history. Imagine the first man that found out you could drink milk from a cow. Really imagine what that man did. <laughs> because of it, we now have milk. <clears throat> Oftentimes, you will find that risks open up new opportunities. Now, this does not mean risk at all. If you are in Vegas and low on money, do not risk it all in red. Choose black instead. Trust me, it, it really always works. <clears throat> no, but in all seriousness, keep that drive to secede. Never become stagnant in life. When you're old, say around 40 years old, I'm sorry, I had to do that. 
I truly hope that you have no regrets in your life. Now on a more serious note, we have been through the late nights and the early mornings together, through the stress and through the laughter. Our tireless journey has all led up to this day, our graduation. Some will go to college, some the military, and some to the workforce, but inevitably, we are all beginning a new branch of our lives today. I truly hope that no matter what path you take, you can find happiness in your endeavor. Go home today and thank your parents for what they have done for you. My mom and dad have been the greatest inspirations in my life. And, and my brother, I guess, but who cares, honestly. <laughs> thank your teachers for what they have taught you, those, those people. Without them, you wouldn't be graduating and I wouldn't have been able to write this speech. Thank you, Mr. Green, both of them. Grass in class of 2019, it has been the greatest honor of my life to have been your valedictorian. With this, I wish you all a great life, truly. Farewell. Shout out to row eight. At this time, I would like to introduce Renee Wallace, who will read her poem, Memories. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I see it. <laughs> the moment you walk across this stage, let your mind be flooded with memories. The good, the bad, the happy, the sad, and everything in between. The moment you walk across this stage, be grateful for the friends you've made. The ones you leave behind and the ones you keep forever. No matter the trials you faced, they were there to walk you through them. The moment you walk across this stage, be thankful for your family. They raised you to this point, now it's time they let go. But always remember one thing, their love for you is endless. The moment you walk across this stage, appreciate the teachers you've had. After four whole years, they taught you well, they watched you grow, now they are excited to see where you go. The moment you walk across this stage, let your mind welcome new memories. Be fearless as we all diverge onto different paths, but may our high school memories keep us close. Thank you. Now, members of the senior class will sing, I'll Always Remember You.
<laughs> Grafton High School would like to thank the many social, civic, community, and public service organizations, businesses, churches, colleges, and others that make scholarship dollars available to our seniors so they may continue with their education. Would all scholarship recipients please stand? <laughs> it is with great pride to announce that the total value of scholarships awarded to the class of 2019 is five million one hundred twenty-two thousand one hundred and sixty-two dollars. Join me in a round of applause as we recognize these outstanding seniors and their families. You may be seated. Good morning, Clippers, Clippers family. It is with great pride that I have the daunting task of picking amazing seniors to earn the Grafton Medallion. And this was extra hard this year because this class has so many wonderful students and scholars that represent everything Grafton stands for, that are role models, that are active, that are part of the community, and just completely exemplify what it means to be a Grafton Clipper. The medallions are bestowed on two seniors, one male and one female. And at this time, I would like to present my Grafton medallion to my male student, student Nathan Hass. And to my female recipient, I would like to honor Whitney Horton. Well, good morning, Clipper family. I am Whitney Cataldo, proud, dazzled, impressed, enthusiastic, blown away, excited, and ready to celebrate principal of Grafton High School. I'd like to welcome Dr. Shandor, members of the division leadership team, members of our school board, our families, our friends, our staff, and most importantly, our honored guests today, our students of the 22nd commencement exercise of Grafton High School, our students. Yes. Well, here we are, class of 2019. You have made it. To celebrate, today we celebrate you, your hard work, your dedication, your perseverance, and most importantly, your success. When I reflect on the class of 2019, I can't help but to be flooded with so many great memories of everything we've done all the way from September. Sitting amongst us are district champions, regional champions, and state champions. We also have grand champions with us. We have the first choir ever to march in the Yorktown Day Parade. Yes. <laughs> We've had members of clubs, activities, and 10 different honor societies. We have world travelers with us who've gone everywhere from Costa Rica to France. We have all district and all state champions. Some of us play dodgeball that raised $1,200 for the Natasha House. We created shirts, we created buttons, we celebrated around the world during homecoming week. We earned superior and excellent ratings all year. 
Some students even had their first or really big wins over TAB. <laughs> we have amazing actors who brought Bright Star to life. We relaxed and celebrated Be Kind to Your Mind Week. We earned recognition of being the Virginia Honor Band for the 15th year in a row. Some of us took a very cold plunge into the ocean. And most recently, we took a walk down memory lane visiting our old elementary schools and enjoying time together at senior day. From handing out that first nine on September 14th to today, you've created lasting memories that will not only last with us, but impact Grafton forever. As each of you leave Grafton for a journey, I wanna give you a little bit of advice. I know you're getting a lot today, but I wanna talk about you and how powerful you can be. There's something called the circle of control. Anyone heard of the circle of control? Maybe, yes, I see some shaking. The circle of control is a very simple concept, yet the impact is so powerful. And what is so powerful about this is that you can think about how you approach different situations. It simply has you reflect on what you can and you cannot control. And if it's something that you cannot control, then how you can change your perspective. And you might be asking, well, how can I do that? Well, it is very easy. All you have to do is change one or two words and boom, your whole perspective can be changed. So let's try it, let's try one. Take a moment and think about something that's on your to-do list. So something that might be on your to-do list. Maybe it's going to the grocery store, maybe it's going to work, maybe it's cutting the grass, doing your homework, or maybe even preparing for a graduation party. So now, if someone asked you what you had to do, how would you phrase it? What would you tell them? Would you say, I have to go to the grocery store? I have to cut grass? I have to go to work? Well, guess what? This is where the magic starts. All you have to do is change one word. And that one word is from have to get. I get to go to the grocery store. I get to cut grass. I get to go to work. The power of one word puts a whole new spin, a whole new perspective on a situation. It brings gratitude to an opportunity of something instead of not having to do it, but that you get to do it. So now, you're hooked, I know it. Let's try some others. How about I'll try to have the ability, excuse me, how about let's try, when you say I will try, but how about the ability to? I'll try to have my homework turned in on time to I have the ability to turn my homework in on time. Or how about the phrase, it is what it is. Well, let's change it to, it is what I choose to make it. And also, I'll do better next time. How about if we switch it to, I do my best, which gets better all the time. Now you might be asking, why is Ms. Cataldo choosing to talk about this during graduation? Well, it's simple. I want to leave you with advice that you can use an hour from now, a day from now, a week from now, a month, or a year from now. Something that you can control to help you through any situation. Something simple, yet so powerful. The power of you and your thoughts. But I also asked your teachers what advice they might have for you. Here are a few things that your teachers shared with me. They shared, decide what to be and go be it. Always wear sunscreen. Vote. Live a life of meaning and always be kind. Do not get a credit card until you're 40. <laughs> be bold and fail often. It means you're trying. Respect and responsibility equals results. Kindness and generosity are your gifts to the world. A setback is nothing more than a set up for a comeback. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. And you may be the one person who makes or breaks a person's day, so always be kind. 
So yes, there is a lot of advice, but I want you to remember how powerful you are and the importance of your perspective as you approach any situation. Now, let's say to ourselves, I get to graduate. And now it is my pleasure to begin the presentation of diplomas to the class of 2019. Atia Abdul Aleem. Catherine Ann Adams. Clinton Garrett Alexander. John Walter Allen. Hannah Kathleen Anderson. Mayor Ahmad Anuti. <laughs> Tiffany Leanne Artis. <laughs> Sierra Nicole Ash. <laughs> Timothy Brian Asher. <laughs> Caroline Rebecca Austin. <laughs> Ariana Caitlin Barb. Timothy Bruce Bearfield. Seven, Hakuru Leonard Beinhauer. Caitlin Anastasia Berlin. Savannah Nicole Below. Nicholas Connor Bland. Brandon Roger Boyvin. Brandon James Bomboy. Nicholas Tyler Bowden. Jessica Lynn Bowers. Gabriella Ray Bradshaw. Yusuf Kenyatta Brantley. Jacob Nicholas Brettbill. Sybil Amora Evelyn Brunash. Emma Maria Bryant. Dakota Fitz Burbage. Alyssa K. Bustamante. Hannah Elizabeth Butler Al. <laughs> Maya Elizabeth Don Caden. Cameron Susan Irie Camarada. <laughs> Megan Alexis Campbell. Dallin Michael Carson. Emma Grace Carver. Libby Ann Carver. Mason Elaine Carver. Christian Anthony Cattles. Siddiqui Kaba Sharif. Irene Hain Choi. Wanju Moses Chung.
Frederick Minsuk Choi. Yuna Chu. Courtney Michelle Clemens. Michelle Koberger. Michael Anthony Covard. Heather Victoria Conover. Riley Catherine Coolidge. Quentin Nicholas Coppola. Kylie Marie Crabtree. Elizabeth Claire Crawford. Selena Nicole Curtis. Chase Benjamin Dacness. Alexa Renee Daly. Benjamin Douglas Darden. Florence Ofori Darko. Jack Robert Daskowski. Jackson Wayne Davies. Andrew Scott Davis. Tarius Linwood Davis. Patrick Bruce Deck. Brendan James DeWitt. Gabriella Luisa DeGangi. Nico Coyote Sky Dice. David Scott Dodsworth Jr. Danielle Jane Doyen. Marissa Brooke Drees. Amaya Tatiana Duhart. Alan Staunton Duncan. Jonathan Glenn Eckelman. Logan David Edwards. Sydney Page Ehrlich. Christian Treshawn Ellsworth. Madeline Austin Joy Etheridge. Brian Cameron Barkley Evans. Paige Carol Faisenbaker. Madison Jane Fell. Jaylee Marin Field. Haley Pooh Patrice Fortune.
Luis Antonio Figueroa Carrion. Noel Addison Finley. Connor Justin Fish. Nathaniel Glenn Fitzgibbons. Molly Catherine Larry. Jackson Garrett Flewellen. Benjamin Wallace Ford. Sarah McMillan Forsgren. Haley Madison Fowler. Caroline Carnes Frecker. Ethan Ray Frederick. Kiera Elizabeth Friedman. Mia Adeja Furby. Sage Marie Gardner. Catherine Martha Gatos. David Sunnell Gillespie. Daniel Thomas Gilmore. Colleen Michelle Goodley. Hayden Reese Gould. Nigel Monet Green. Elena Brianne Griffin. Jamalette Adomilis Gross. Mia Marie Guajardo. Julian Javon Hagwood. Becca Rose Hollinstead. Christopher Hammock. Calvin Taylor Hannibal. Caitlin Louise Harrison. Nathan Patrick Hass. Alexander Riley Havens. Kai Green Hawk. Jenna Lee Hayes. Moira Catherine Shaojun Himmelson. Joseph Thomas Helms. Noah James Hensky. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Ashley Nicole Hill. Oh, Vincent Anthony Hill. Oh, Braden Graham Hodges. Oh, <laughs> Riley Elizabeth Homan. Ariel Elizabeth Hoffman. Ryan Anthony Holloway. Zoe Zia Hornback. Whitney Noel Horton. Sarah Gabrielle Howe. Devin Patrick Howe. 
Harper Darwin Ziana M. Emily Claire Jackson. Austin Earl Jacobs. Ashley Nicole James. Daquan Arnez James. Mikhail Tyree James Green. Grace Ellie Jarrell. Matthew Alvin Jarrett. Brianna Nicole Johnson. Clinton Thomas Johnson. Kiera Amon Johnson. Thomas William Johnson. Aja Bree Johnston. Kelsey Valeria Jones. Riley Marie Jones. Ethan Philip Jordan. Carissa Grace Judge. Yuka Kennedy. Changmin Kang. Caroline Rose Caston. Cody Franklin Keen. Dean Keanu Kokoa Deerhart. Allison Catherine Kinney. Alexis McKaylin Kinnon. Kayla Marie Kernan. Haley Rose Kramer. Timothy Isaiah Lane. Taylor Lynn Lawson. Lauren Nicole Lawyer. John Dagun Lee. Megan Delaney Lee. Sung Min Lee. Emmanuel Nehemiah Lentz. Henry Namata Lakambi. Grace McCray Lineberry. Brittany Michelle Lego.
Catherine Mary Lewis. Faith Badaki Lacambi. Mark Elijah Lipscomb. Dennis J. Livermore. Michaela Ann Leffler. Esterly Lucia Lopez. Austin Douglas Lundy. Daniel Lewis Luongo. Lauren Schuyler McDonald. Paige Aurora McDonald. Logan Mackenzie Machen. Samuel Jean Madrigal. Joseph Collins Mayavich. Tamia Chanel Marshall. Malia Christina Martinez. Madison Amaya Matthews Biagas. Ashton Caitlin Mays. Gage Thomas Mazeka. Tessa Morgan Mazeka. Mary Catherine Jean McCaffrey. Brianna Nicole McClenny. Sydney Rochelle McGee. Kalani Devon McLean. Christopher Ravon Mells. Nicole Aaliyah Mells. Jared Lee Midkiff. Samuel Layton Muner Miller. Annika Elise Mills. Fiona Ray Minter. Tony Lavon Mitchell. Tucker Ethan Molin. Calvin Edward Moore. Taylor Lynn Moore. Brandon Lee Mosier. Ellen Grace Mundy. Aaron Patrick Now. Andrew Christopher Now. Samuel Harris Nelson. Gracie Kathleen Wynn.
Benjamin Lewis Nikolai. Nadeja Clarion Norman. James Chase Grant Norris. Lisa Nicole O'Grady. Yunsuk O. Lily Anna Olson. Jacob Alexander Orman. Annetta Marie Oswald. Hannah Francis Parsons. Jasmine Snahal Patel. Maximilian Victor Pareto. Stephen Arthur Pettit. Paige Chelsea Phillips. Nicole Helen Piatko. Elena Grace Pig. Isaac Jonathan Pimentel. Mark Gregory Pincus. Sierra Lee Pittman. John Robert Ponche. Abigail Ann Powell. Ellie Jean Powell. Caitlin Lee Price. Taylor Simone Pryor. Liam Connor Purdy. Elizaveta Alexandrovna Radkovich. Rachel Rebecca Ramsey. Brett Kenneth Reese. Kyle Alexander Reister. Ada Marie Rexrode. Mackenzie Drew Reynolds. Madeline Nicole Reynolds. Alyssa Christine Richard. Richards. Emma Catherine Richards. Connor Thane Ritchie. Joshua Michael Roan. Colin Quinn Rogers. Alexander Noel Roper. Alyssa Jude Ross. Hannah Avery Ross. Madeline Serena Ruffier. Gregory William Rush. Joey Carnell Rush.
James Curtis Rutledge. Sophie Gabrielle Sheeran. Alyssa Haley Schreiber. Mackenzie Paige Schwallenberg. Elizabeth Grace Sears. Elizabeth Marie Segan. Andrew Peyton Schartzer. Sergey Vitalyevich Shirkov. Navjot Singh. Pranav Sandhi. Emma Joan Spata. <laughs> Hannah Marie Spate. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Spires. <laughs> Matthew James Spitz. Toby Stone Spruill. Emma Cooper Streves. Taylor Lynn Stolniker. Tomas McCall Stell. Walker Ray Stevenson. Jacob Sean Stokes. Jonathan David Saran. Haley Ann Sutton. Chrislyn Alexandra Sutton. Daniel William Tapina. Malat Imnate Tedros. Kenneth Owen Thompson. Caleb Jensi Thornton. Samantha Ann Thornton. Kai Ashton Tuckett. Xavier Antonio Valdez. Nathan Timothy Van. Caitlin Marie Walker. <laughs> Renee Elizabeth Wallace. <laughs> Kassan Marcel Malik Warren. <laughs> Ariane Sheree Watkins. Andrew Bryce Webb. Janice Chantel Welch. Takor Hurongi Bakahoyhoy. Adija Imani Williams. Reuben Jason Williams Jr.
Jacob Tucker Wines. Timothy James Wisser. Zachary Robert Wonorowski. Derek Yang. Alexander Thomas Yankowski. Andrew Sang Yu. Byung Yun Yoon. Sloan Dameron Yahtzee. Abby Michelle Swersix. Let's give our graduates one more round of applause. All right, if I could have the class of 2019, please stand. By the authority invested in me by the State Board of Education and the York County School By, I hereby declare you graduates of Grafton High School. Please move your tassels from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduates of Grafton High School, class of 2019. If we could please stand for the recessional.